In this video, I'm going to explain the price increase of the various trim levels of the 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning and the implications of the Inflation Reduction Act that was signed into law in August 2022. Before we get started, below the video in the description is links to a few news articles that explain the Inflation Reduction Act and also a link directly to that bill. If you qualify for the $7,500 EV tax credit, here is what changes for 2023. They eliminated the 200,000 vehicle tax cap, so the Ford does qualify. They maxed out the price for cars at 55,000. The max price is 80,000 for trucks and SUVs, and then there is a maximum income requirement. This translates to none of the Lightnings with the extended range batteries. They no longer qualify for the $7,500 EV tax credit. Now let's break down each individual trim level and start with the most economical, the Pro Model. Pro Model 2022 price was just shy of 40,000. The 2023 price is just shy of 47,000. That's an 18% increase or $7,000 increase in price. This essentially negates the $7,500 EV tax credit. The base price of an XLT increased 12% or $6,500 to $59,474. Base price of a Lariat with a standard range battery increased 10% or $7,000 to $74,474. But buyers beware because you can easily add a few accessory and options and exceed the $80,000 price range, which would eliminate the $7,500 EV tax credit. The next most expensive trim level is the XLT extended range battery, and that increased 12% or $8,500. It puts you over the $80,000 max cap. So if you couple the $8,500 increase with the $7,500 in EV tax credit that you'll lose, this could potentially be costing you $16,000 more in 2023 versus 2022. The Lariat trim with the extended range battery increased from $77,474 to just shy of $86,000, which is an 11% increase or $8,500. If you couple that with the loss of the $7,500 tax rebate, this truck could potentially cost you $16,000 more than 2022. The top of the line trim level, the Platinum, increased the least amount at $6,000 or 7% to just shy of $97,000. And if you factor in the loss of the $7,500 tax rebate that was offered in 2022, this truck could potentially cost you $13,500 more in 2023. Another tidbit with the Inflation Reduction Act. So in 2023, you're able to get the full $7,500 EV credit as long as the truck cost less than $80,000, but in 2024, they're going to implement that the battery minerals need to be sourced from North America, and there's a lot of complications, so those EV tax credit could erode in 2024. I realize that prices increase over the years, and that's not where I have a problem. Where I've become really disenchanted is that I have a very early reservation that went unfulfilled for a 2022 Lightning, and that pushed me into 2023. I have the price increase, the potential loss of the EV tax credit, and there's also the dealer gouging that I didn't include. So this could potentially cost me fifteen dollars to $20,000 more. I hope that you found this video very informative and you click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.